Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another video. Video one of a new mini series um, aimed at helping you improve your rotation in the backswing and downswing, okay? We're gonna go through the prerequisites of how to improve your turn in the backswing, in the downswing, in your golf swing to hopefully help you improve your ceiling for success, for your growth potential in building a successful golf swing for the rest of your golfing life. So um, step one, let's talk about the basics of what you can do to set yourself up to rotate for success, okay? At setup, um, and, and I briefly mentioned this in, in a stay at home video, we wanna make sure that the feet are slightly flared out, okay? If your toes are square at setup, if you turn, you're rotated, you're, you're restricted on how much you can turn. More often than not, I see clients for the first time, first time clients, if they're square toes, they often do this. You see how I'm swaying away from the target? That often happens because it's a movement. They feel like they're moving in their golf swing, so they feel like if they're turning, but they're not actually turning. We want to make sure we're flaring these toes. So um, I've mentioned this before. I like the lead toes, 1030, right toes, uh, rear toes, one o'clock for a right-handed golfer. That usually affords you enough room to turn without overdoing it, okay? So we want flare toes so that your right hip can turn back, your trail hip can turn back freely. And as you can see, when the trail hip turns back freely, the trail leg straightens and loses flex. It's not gonna lock out, but it will straighten and lose flex to accommodate the right hip, the trail hip from turning back. You're not gonna straighten your leg for the sake of straightening your leg, okay? So when we set up, if the right hip turns back, right hip, right leg straightens and loses flex, then the upper body can turn freely, okay? The, the, the less the lower body turns, the less the upper body can turn. The more the lower body turns, the more the upper body can turn. That is step one, okay? You gotta make sure you're in a setup that allows you to turn properly in the backswing so that you can turn properly in the downswing, okay? So how that will look from the down the line view again. I w we want pelvis and chest facing the down the line camera. We wanna be able to be turned on one side so that we can eventually turn on the other side. If you are not turned, if you just arms in the down uh, backswing, you're probably gonna go arms in the downswing and, the, and your body won't turn. Your body will just come along for the ride as your arms go back and forth during your golf swing. That's a very low ceiling for success in terms of um, your golf swing's ability to help you uh, hit the ball well. So what we wanna do is instead of doing that, we wanna feel like after the good setup, we wanna feel pelvis and chest to the down the line camera or away from the target. That's the cue, pelvis and chest away from the target and then pelvis and chest towards the target. Again, doesn't matter where the ball goes at this point because this is step one of this mini series of how to turn properly, how to turn better. All this video is gonna do is help you turn better, okay? Other things you may have to adjust, other things may adapt to this better turn. The sole focus for this video series is to help you turn better in the backswing and the downswing. So again, here it is, it's feeling chest and pelvis pointing away from the target as much as you can. If you're someone that doesn't turn properly, you have to feel the most hip turn, the most upper body turn. Pelvis and chest away from the target, pelvis and chest to the target. That is step one, making sure your setup allows for that with the flared feet and then the trail hip turning back as freely as you can without swaying away from the target, okay? So chest and pelvis away from the target. You can see my hips stay centered as my right hip, my trail hip turns back as my torso turns freely, okay? So that's step one, that's video one of this improve your turn mini series that we're gonna do over the course of these next couple of weeks, okay? So hope that helps. Any questions, leave it in the comments below and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks guys. <laughs>